Hi, everybody. It's Drake. The Wapple. Get ready for another great adventure. Today, I am doing part three of a video series of Belize. It's right below Mexico. So if you know where Cancun is, go right down. That's where Belize would be. Great Barrier Reef. It's part of the second longest barrier reef system in the world. Now, a lot of people will go to Belize and say there's nothing to do there. Oh, how wrong they could be. Don't get all butt hurt. Let's go. In previous videos, I discussed what to do in Belize City and what to do uh, as far as for the ocean. But now I want to talk about what to do in the country of Belize. So get out of Belize City, and if you're looking at a map, go to the left. As far as for the Mayan civilizations of Belize, there are hundreds of ruins and ceremonial centers. And this is how archeologists, scientists can date Belize as far as for the population to about 2500 BC to about 1000 AD. Say what? Belize was a British colony. It was known as British Honduras. And until they gained their independence, obviously under British rule, this is why most people in Belize will speak English. So there might not be as much of a language barrier as what you would think. That's all good. For travelers to Belize and cruisers to Belize, I've heard there's nothing to do there. Just stay on the ship. Go into port with a tender. That's fun to do and stay in a tourist village, but don't leave too dangerous and I've also heard hey you know what go out do excursions to see things and there are a lot of things to see and do in Belize a short time later from the port city of Belize City one of the closest things is in the interior is the Belize Zoo the Belize Zoo will have jaguars a taper the toucan, which is the Belize national bird. This zoo is for rescuing animals. So the animals here are up close and personal. However, they are rescue animals. They want to give something back to nature and the environment. And 100% kudos to everybody who's running that place. Absolutely wonderful. Right on, thumbs up. Awesome! There are many Mayan ruins throughout the country that you can go and explore. Plenty of temples. One of the nice things is that for some of these places, you can actually climb up the pyramids and have a view of the jungle and the canopy below you. And you can see other sites if you look hard enough and certainly some spectacular views. Now forgive me if I get some of these names wrong or if I mispronounce them because they are Mayan and that's not my native tongue. Oops. The first suggestion is a place called San Ignacio and it has a cave that is referred to as ATM, just like the cash machine. If I can get this right, hopefully I can pronounce this. Aktun Tunichil Maknal. Or ATM. So much easier to say that, right? The ATM cave is a five-star rating. It's about a 45-minute hike. And you'll cross three rivers. Be sure to bring bug repellent if you're going to do this and something to keep the sun off you and some water. It's pretty hot out there. But once you get to the cave, obviously it'll be very, very cool. And the things you'll see in the cave are very, very cool too. 
Remember, this is a five-star rating. The great thing about this cave is it was a sacrifice burial site. Now, there is some walking involved in this tour, but you will go through this cave and see the calcified, mummified remains of human sacrifices uh, and also some uh, Mayan pottery. Pretty neat. One of those experiences that you're probably not gonna forget. Oh my goodness. There are the Caracol Mayan ruins. Now keep in mind, some of these ruins are farther away from port. Ain't no one got time for that. And if you look at the bus system of Belize, I would book it through the ship. I know it's a little bit more money, but if you see some of these buses in Belize and some of the roads, if something happens to your bus and you're out there on a road, booking through the cruise, they're supposed to not leave without you until you get back. And from the looks of some of these buses, remember there's not going to be air conditioning, there's no bathrooms, they aren't the modern buses of, of what you would think sometimes. Sometimes they are. I would book through the ship. Ah, oh, damn it. There are the Lamini ruins. Now, Lamini means submerged crocodile. And you can see this in the ruins as you walk around and experience and maybe put yourself back in time as to how these people lived and what they did and what they ate. Again, a great experience for being in another country that is very unique. At Lamini, you can also climb this one. So you can go up and see that view from the top and it could be a spectacular view and you see the whole grounds. And I think that's one of the nice things about being in this part of the world is that for some of these pyramids, you can actually climb them and experience what they are and what those people had to go through just to build them and get to the top. They're absolutely incredible. Winner, there's Sunatonich. And Sunatunich is awesome. Now, it has a very weird spelling, but an X 
in this part of the world is pronounced as an S. So that's where we would get this name from. I'm on really, a boat. Really great place. It's raining call hard. Belize has a lot of natural wonders. They aren't popularized as much, but they are gorgeous and romantic. If you go to a place called Butterfly Falls, you can see, obviously, these waterfalls that are beautiful. Now, a little bit of a hike again to get there, a little bit of a track, but worth it. Bonita. There's a place called Altunha, which is about 50 miles outside of Belize City. So it's a lot less of a track than getting to some of these other places. However, it still has ruins, right? That you can go see, climb, experience. Again, something is a memory to take with you with your trip. Now, I haven't mentioned this, but it's sort of important. A lot of these trips will also include cave tubing. If you're claustrophobic, some of the cave stuff you might not like. Although it's pretty airy for a lot of these things and a lot of the cave tubes is pretty decent. You might want to bring your own flashlight, you know, but make sure it's waterproof when you're going out there. Obviously you want it to work. Uh, but you'll go through these caves and there are these slow little rivers that will bring you through these caves. You'll get to see in some underground waterfalls. It's certainly cooler. Um, a lot of these are guided with a guide in the front who's, who's pulling people through the cave. Again, you might want to do an excursion with this. You know, I don't think that Belize renting out a car for you to drive through the jungle to try to find these places. I've seen the pictures of the roads. You might not want to do that. There are Rio Frio caves. Now, Frio means cold and Rio means river. So, cold river caves. Again, on a hot day, experiencing a country, you might want to go and see this. The Barton Creek Cave. I missed that. Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary and Jaguar Reserve. This park is almost like our national park system. They want to set up a place where they can preserve jaguars. What I found is that when you go to these parks, sometimes it's very, very hard to see the wildlife. Jaguars typically are nocturnal. They have great camouflage even during the day and they're very hard to spot. But if you wanted to walk around and maybe get lucky and see wildlife, not a bad place to go. Or, as I said earlier, go to the zoo, they do have a jaguar. Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve. Again, nature trails, walking around, gorgeous, gorgeous sights, especially waterfalls. There's also Chiquibo National Park. Again, going into some of the history and the culture of Belize. And you might want to check that out as well. I know some people have said, hey, stay in port. There are a lot of things to do in this country. From the reports that I've read as far as for the crime, a lot of them were 10 years ago. 
So they might not even believe, they might not even be applicable for today. I still suggest that you be very careful. I don't want anybody to be hurt or have a bad experience when they're going to another country. It really sucks. I've had some bad experiences myself and I don't want to relive them. But stay on your toes. That doesn't mean that you have to stay around and, and be scared about everything. Now remember, this is part three of a series on Belize. Please check out one and two because I go into the scuba and I also go into Belize City about some things to see in Belize City as well. I'm really, really, really trying to build this channel and I really need your help. I know a lot of people ask and a lot of us just ignore this thinking that it's no big deal. Please, I'm imploring you, hit the subscribe button. It only takes a second, you hit subscribe, you ring the little bell as far as for the notifications and send like. If you'd like to go further and pass this channel on to others as far as for links, awesome. I really, really appreciate it. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart for trying to build this channel up, giving more information to people and travelers. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Bye.